Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful Today we have a new lesson for second secondary grade Second semester English subject 3B writing traveler 4 This lesson is prepared by Mr. Muhammad Al-Bahiri And presented by Muhammad Al-Atami Today we will Identify language used in reviews Identify useful tips when you are asked to write a review of a book. Practice writing a book review. Warm up. Do you read book reviews in magazines or newspapers? Why? Why not? What is the meaning of book reviews? When someone is talking about a book for example he says that this book is a bestseller or written by uh, John written by Ahmed or uh, for, for example in the reviews we can say this book is badly written or well written this is uh, that we what we call it review review of a book that you give information or summary of a book with some advantages and disadvantages. Would a review influence your choice of book to buy? When you read reviews, are you influenced by them for when you choose books? Tips. When writing a review of a book, choose a book that you know well and make a plan about what you are going to write. So, choose a book that you know well. Don't write about books that you have just general idea. And make a plan about what are you going to write. Decide whether your review will be positive, negative, or balanced. Put in your mind that your writing either will be positive, neg negative, or balanced. Balanced that you write the positive things and the negative things. Advantages, disadvantages. Remember to include all the necessary basic information like name and kind of book, name of author, plot, themes, other significant aspects, such as style of writing, etc. Comments about what you liked, didn't like, and recommendation. Mention only the main points of the plot. What is the plot? The plot usually is the summary of the story or the most important parts of the story. We call it the plot. In Arabic, they call it, we call it do not include too many details and do not reveal the ending. Of course, if you are saying the plot and you're making a review, you should usually you should encourage the reader to buy the book. Don't reveal the ending because by revealing the ending of the story, um, the reader may not by the story or the book and when he write when he read the story or the book with the ending in his mind and uh, he will find the book is boring so don't reveal the ending remember to use the present simple use a range of adjectives and a vivid style to describe the book and to express your opinion Exercise. Match the adjectives with the nouns to form collections. Now we have these nouns and these adjectives. We want to make collection. For example, best selling. Can we say best selling novel? Yes, of course. Vivid novel? Yes. Moving novel? Confusing. So I want you to think about the Adjectives and 
what can be with you can use more than one adjective for each noun so the adjectives are best-selling vivid moving confusing original badly written worthwhile timeless weak excellent detailed unrealistic well written central predictable thought-provoking, descriptive, and slow. And the nouns are novel, account, style of writing, descriptions, themes, plot, character. Now, let's try to answer this question. With novel, we can say best-selling novel, vivid novel moving novel, confusing, original, badly written, worthwhile, timeless, excellent, detailed, unrealistic, well-written, thought-provoking, descriptive. And with a count we can say vivid, moving, original, badly written, well, weak, excellent, detailed, unrealistic, well-written, thought-provoking, and descriptive. With style of writing, we can say vivid, moving, confusing, original, excellent, unrealistic, thought-provoking, and descriptive style of writing. With descriptions, we can say vivid descriptions, Moving descriptions, confusing, badly written, excellent, detailed, unrealistic, thought-provoking descriptions. With themes, we can say original themes, timeless, weak, excellent, central, predictable, thought-provoking. And with plot, we can say confusing, original, weak, excellent, detailed, unrealistic, predictable, and slow plot. With characters, we can say vivid, unrealistic, central, thought-provoking. Assessment. Read the rubric below and complete the outline for your review. Looking for book reviews. Send us a review of a book that you have recently read. Include information about it and say whether you would recommend it to people of your age. Outline An introduction gives some general information about the book. The title, the title of the book. Type of book. Is it a story, short story, novel, author, main characters? And in the main part, which is the first paragraph, give a brief summary of the plot and in the second paragraph make comments about what you liked or didn't like about the book what you like about or didn't like about the plot or the theme style of writing characters etc and in conclusion state your general opinion in conclusion try to state your general opinion about the book and say whether you recommend it or not. Now, we are going to study expressions, phrases commonly used in a book review. An introduction or plot, you can say, this book is bestseller. The book is written by, it is a novel or a classic, an adventure story a, myst a mysterious etc it came out in and in comments you can say the book is badly written or well written the opening characters are so appealing that you want to keep on reading it means that you, you can't stop uh, reading conclusion 
can say in conclusion, you will find it hard to put down. It is not worth reading that if you didn't like the the book and uh, you're going to write it negatively, you can say it is not worth reading. Waste of time. If you haven't read it, make sure you get a copy. This is a, a positive way of recommending the book. Now, write your review. Have your notebook and write from 120 to 180 words. So, try to write your own review about a book or a novel using these expressions and phrases. This is the summary of today's lesson. Today, we studied what to do when writing a review of a book. We said, choose a book that you know well, and remember to include all the necessary basic information. Also, you should mention only the main points of the plot, and use a range of adjectives and a vivid style. In outline, you have introduction and two paragraphs and conclusion. In, in introduction, you should give some general information about the book, which is title, the type of the book, the author, the main characters, and in the main part, give a brief summary of the plot, and in the second main part, make comments about what you like or didn't like about the book or plot, theme, style of writing, characters, etc. And in conclusion, state your general opinion about the book and say whether you recommend it or not. These are our references and resources. For more information and listen, you can visit our website, you can contact our Twitter account or call us on our free phone. Thank you for listening. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.